Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see about the time lapse in Google Earth. So time lapse is a global or zoomable video that show how our planets has changed since 1984. So to access this, we just need to go any browser and type there earth.google.com. So after typing this, we launch to the online access to the time lapse. So here, the one tool is there that is a Voyager. So once I'll click on the Voyager, I will come down and below there is option that is a time lapse in Google Earth. As I will click on the time lapse in Google Earth, here we can able to see the right side. We can search for any places for the time lapse. Suppose I want to search it for the Assam. So just need to type name here and just click on the that place. After that, we'll reach to that place and we can able to see the time lapse of that place. So here it is. So if suppose I want to see the time lapse in this river, so I can able to see the time lapse. So we just need to type any location where we are interested to see the time lapse. After that, there is an option that is the stories. In the stories, you will able to see we can able to see the changes in urban expansion, then warming planet. So these are already some recorded uh, changes are there that we can able to see. So just need to click there and we can able to see the information about that place. So we'll start our exploration of urban expansion in Las Vegas. So here you can able to see the changes and you can read about this information about the streets. So just need to go back from here. Okay. I will again go to time lapse. After that, here you can able to see the year of changes here. What are the changes has taken from uh, 1984 to 2020? You can able to see the changes here. So now any location we can access. Here is the feature location option is there. In the feature location, there is, if you want to see the changes in agriculture area or deforestation, glacier or urban infrastructure, we just need to click there. What are the things we are interested? Once we'll click there, we'll go directly to that place and we can see the changes which has takes place in infrastructure. So in the about section, you can able to see the information about the time lapse. So they are saying we had this launch from 1984 means we'll see the images from 1984. So 2020. So this is the mostly uh, combination of more than 15 million satellite imagery. And they are used the five different satellites for this. So the satellite information is given. So this way we can able to access for any places. After that, we can also uh, we can also visit this or time lapse video downloaded. So here are already they have recorded some places 3D time lapse. So you just need to type on the Google this earth time lapse video downloaded. So same way just need to we can go here and we just need to time earth time lapse video downloaded. So this is the once will come here you will able to see. Suppose if you want to see in the 3D, we just need to click on the 3D. After click on the 3D, we'll see the 3D view changes of that place. So if you want to see in the 2D, you can click on the 2D as well. If you are interested to download this, you can just click on the download option and you can download it MP4 or whatever the format you want, you can able to download this. So this time lapse, you can able to see for there are uh, there are lots of time lapse they are already available. You can choose the theme here for the urban expansion or forest change. If you click here, you can able to see that theme there. Also after that, you can able to see any particular region. If you want to see any particular region, North America or Antarctica, you can click there and you can go 
to search that places. So this way we can able to see the time lapse of any particular places. So this way you can able to access for any places. So there are many options are available here. And uh, below you can able to see the details are given, the latitude and longitude of that place. Then the scale is given, all the things are showing there. So this way you can able to access the any thing that is showing a time lapse. So this is very interesting tool and it will be helpful. Uh, it will be very helpful to show changes from 1984 to 2020.